Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany and this is my channel, Who's Your Handmade? Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is a very special collaboration and I can't wait to share what I've made. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to get to know you better and welcome you into the sewing community. Friendship is so important to me, so thank you so much to each one of my friends who are here today taking time out of your day to watch this video it means so very much to me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and leave a comment down below i would love to know if you have used this pattern company or made this garment i would love to know down below in the comment section so today is a very special collaboration video i love doing collaborations with my dear friend Agatha from In Agatha's Cottage. She has become a legit dear friend. We talk all the time, we text back and forth. I go to her with questions. <laughs> she is definitely an amazing seamstress. If you have not checked out her channel, please do so. I will link her video and her channel down below in the description box. Definitely go over, give her a follow. You will not regret it. She's an amazing seamstress and she has made a beautiful beautiful outfit for today's collaboration. This is our fourth collaboration. We have so many ideas on how to collaborate together. Our styles are different, but yet we do love like pattern companies and we like challenging each other as well. So one ongoing challenge that we like to do during these collaborations is to challenge ourselves to use fabric and patterns from our stash. So that was a key for today as well. And we also wanted to throw in a spring and summer look. So we chose a dress and I am so, so, pleased with what I have made. Actually, every single collaboration I've made with Agatha, I love what I make. She's my good luck charm. <laughs> so I am so excited to share with you my make today. And if you look over my shoulder there, I even have a matching one for Addie. That was completely um, not planned. I was just able to put together some scraps from my fabric. I've had this pattern on my radar for a very long time. I actually have the Mommy and Me version. So this is the Parker from Little Lizard King and Styla. They actually have a baby version and a children's version from Little Lizard King. And then they have the mommy version from Styla. So this pattern covers a ton of sizes. The baby sizes come from newborn up to four years. The children's pattern, which I have for my little girl, Addie, is from 12 months up to 14 years. And then the adult pattern is from zero to 32. So a huge size range there. It's gonna cover you for years and years of kiddos or yourself. I love Styla and Little Lizard King. If you followed me for any amount of time, Time, you know that I'm a super fan of their companies and I love experiencing the patterns for myself. So I have made a lot for Addie and now I'm tiptoeing into those style of patterns. Like I said, I've had this pattern in my stash for a while. The adult version, I just never got around to making for myself, but this collaboration provided the best opportunity to do that because I love a tiered dress for spring and summer. And this fabric has been in my stash for a while and I needed to use it for this beautiful dress for spring and summer. So let's talk about the pattern. I'm gonna give you um, some stats on the pattern and then I'm going to give you some information on my version. And then there'll be photos and a little video at the end of Addie and I in our mix. The Parker dress features a dolman style bodice. You do have the short sleeves at the dolman. I didn't mind the length that they were at, but you can lengthen those via a long long sleeve piece or they have a ruffle that you could put there at the hem of the sleeves as well. So a lot of sleeve options for the bodice. And then for the skirt, you can choose either a simple skirt. It is gathered up into the bodice either way, but there is just one panel for the simple skirt, or you can go the tiered route. Now these tiers are smaller tiers. They're not very large. I mean, there are three of them and it goes about to the knee. So that's that was the length that they're showing showing there on the pattern is about knee length or right above the knee. And I wanted to make mine a little
little bit longer. So I'm going to talk about what I did. I switched it up just a little bit. So this is designed for knits. It has a neck band that you add there. Very simple make, simple construction. It would be made a little bit longer with all the gathering if you did all the tiers, but it really is quite a simple make. It goes together very quickly. Now the big thing that I want to point out here in the description of this dress, online on the Stylist website, it shows that this is a relaxed fit dress. Let me tell you, there is a ton of ease in the bodice and skirt of this dress. So much ease, way much more than I would have wanted. Now what Styla did not do a very good job of, in my opinion, is giving you the finished garment measurements for like waist and hips. I think they give you a length for this dress, but they don't give you that finish for the waist and hips. So what you will need to do is print your pattern out and take measurements and you can see, measure the pattern piece, allow for your seam allowances and see how much ease you're going to have uh, from this make. Obviously even stretchy fabric is going to affect that more. It's going to be even stretchier. So in my experience it came out quite large. I'm going to talk about the alterations uh, that I did make and I can even make more. I'm kind of liking the way that it looks right now so I doubt that I take it in anymore but it definitely could be taken in more. So I just want to point out that this is a very relaxed fit dress very very much so um, so that you don't get blindsided by it having so much ease in the pattern. So let's get into my versions. I chose this beautiful fabric that I had in my stash. This is from Millie Mae Fabrics. If you watched last week's video about online fabric shops you will know that Millie Mae is my favorite fabric shop probably of all time. I love their prints so much. They specialize in beautiful knit fabric and I've had this rib knit in my stash for over a year and I've kind of been hoarding it but I was excited to use it for this collaboration. Now I did do a 12 version. I chose the size 24 based on my measurements and I did sew up a 12 version of the bodice. I don't always do this y'all. Some of you have asked me about my uh, thought on creating muslins or, or twalls. What I like to do is create a twall or a version of a part of the garment that I'm worried about if I'm going to be using gorgeous fabric, which I don't want to waste. This was beautiful fabric. I didn't want to waste it. And I was a little bit worried about how uh, the dolman sleeve and the bodice would fit me. So I sewed this one up. This is some scrap rib knit fabric. I tried to use fabric as close to the type of fabric that I was going to end up using. This is a wider rib. This is a smaller rib here from Hobby Lobby, but still rib knit, very stretchy sewed it up and it turned out quite well except for it was a little bit short. So the bodice was a little bit short and I wanted to lengthen it a little bit. So I've added an inch and a half to both the back and front of my bodice pieces and it's worked out really really well. It gives you a length and shorten line on your pattern piece and I've just extended my bodice pieces. I had three yards of this Millie Mae fabric and I was sweating a little bit trying to get this dress out of just three yards of fabric. Into up doing the job but I did manipulate my tiers a little bit. I knew I wanted the tiered look but those three smaller tiers put together um, I was worried those were not going to be long enough for me. I don't like to wear dresses above my knee. I like to be at the knee or below a hopefully more calf length so that was what I was going for with this dress. So what I decided to do was manipulate my tiers a little bit. I took the simple skirt, the simple skirt pattern and I removed four inches from that pattern piece and that was my top tier and then at the bottom I've used the bottom tier from the tiers that they give you the pattern pieces there's a top a middle and a bottom tier to the uh, traditional tiered version that Styla is showing you so I just took that bottom tier didn't change anything to it and I had enough fabric to get um, my simple skirt minus those four inches and then that bottom tier. The length is absolutely perfect on me. I've done the hem um, just like the pattern suggests. 
did not change the hem at all and it's absolutely perfect. I am 5'4 for reference, so when you see the pictures in the video of me, you'll know um, my height for this dress. It's absolutely perfect. It worked out so, so well. Like I said, there was a little bit more ease in this dress than I originally wanted. Here in the bodice, I don't know if you can see, let me rise on my tiptoes. Here, I like a more fitted look within my bodice and then you yeah, have the flowy tiers, but this dress was so oversized. It was quite a bit wider than what I really wanted it to be around my bodice area. So I ended up pinching out two inches from each side of my bodice and I don't do it professionally. I just do it so that it looks okay. I've pinched it out here um, right under my arm and into this waist and next time I know to grade down a few sizes um, there at the waistline but it's worked out really well and it's kind of cinched in um, my waist. Now let me show you the back. The back is still pretty full. Cinching it in would be like that, and the real, the fit is actually more like this, but that's okay. There's a little bit more fullness back there than what I'm used to, but I like the breezy, flowy look of this dress, so I've left it at just two inches off of each Real quick, let me show you Addie's version of this dress. Like I said, I had three yards, but with manipulating the tiers, I had enough scraps to make Addie a very simple version of the Parker. This is also the Parker, so this is the version with just the simple skirt for Addie. You have just the plain uh, bodice here, no ruffle on the sleeves. You have a neckband and then you have that simple skirt. So I was so excited to get a matching mommy and me dress. Again, the um, ease in the little children's sizes as well as there. It is a little bit oversized on her. Definitely more of a breezy, flowy look. It looks fine, it's not overly big on her, so I did not take her pieces in at all, and I made her this straight size 4T. So I didn't have to lengthen it any, which usually I do have to lengthen patterns for Addie, but for this one, it was perfect. Overall, a wonderful dress, very fun, easy. You can play with those layers, manipulate these patterns to how they fit your life. If you don't want it that short, make it longer. If, if you want to add more tiers, go for it. <laughs> make these patterns your own. Don't be scared to make them work for your vision. I would definitely recommend this pattern to others. Just keep in mind all that ease within the waistline. Measure your pattern piece and adjust accordingly. Now here is my big question. If you know anything about me, you know that I love Ellie and Max staycation dress. It is the gold standard of tiered dresses in my opinion. My big question is how how does the Styla Parker compare to the staycation dress? Can it beat the staycation dress? In my opinion, no, it cannot beat the staycation. So the staycation is there to stay in the number one spot. This is a lovely dress. I will be making more of these for sure. It is so much fun to make these. I just have to do a little bit of adjustment uh, to this pattern. The staycation dress fit me so well right out of the box, right off the sewing machine that I have to keep it at the number one spot. Don't forget to go over to Agatha's channel to check out her collaboration video. I know that her make is absolutely gorgeous and you're gonna love following along with her journey as well. Thank you, Agatha, for collaborating with me. Thank you for your friendship. It's been absolutely wonderful to get to know her. Um, she's an amazing person and I'm so thankful she's in my life. Thank Thank you as well to each of you for watching this video. Thank you for your friendship. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. Have you ever made uh, the Parker or a Styla pattern or a Little Lizard King pattern? Let me know your experiences down below in the comment section. I love chatting with you I will all. see you all in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.